Well, hello YouTube, another video. Uh, found these guys here. Um, was walking down. We expect them uh, to be to be dumped. They was in a fly tipping uh, location, so um, it was in with a load of other uh, garden material and stuff. They look like a uh, what's it again for the uh, sodium lights, high pressure sodiums. Um, ballasts. Yeah, ballasts. Uh, that you run your, um, you know, your uh, sodium lights and your, uh, what is it called again? Metal halides. Metal halides, that's the ones. Uh, we tested the one up there, just that one there, and it's uh, it's giving out voltage and seems to be working happily. Um, we'll just test this guy here to see what it does. Of course, dealing with electronics, safety first. Whenever you do anything, always un keep, keep it unplugged. Can't stress enough. Electronics, electricity is, is it is like fire. Lethal. It is absolutely lethal. It is the hidden killer. Electronics is not like fire. Fire, you can see it. Electricity, you can go and touch a piece of metal like that, and it looks perfectly fine. You go and touch it, it could have it could have a voltage running through it. You got to be careful with electronics. Safety first. Always, always, always. You got to be so careful with it. Um. But anyway, anyway, let's get a shot, shall we? See what it does. Mm. Uh, it could blow. It could not blow. Like I say, it was a freebie. We don't know if it's going to work or not. But uh, we've got to check it. So in it goes. There you go. And we just switch it on off dead quick just to see if it works. That was all right. No smoke came out. No smoke came out. No magic smoke. And we've got voltage there. That's UK voltage, 250 odd volts, 240, 230 volts, it varies depending on the area of the UK you're running at. But as you can see, it uh, appears to be running all nice. No smoke, it's uh, not. It's quite happy. So yeah, we're quite happy with that. It'll be nice when we get a bulb for it and uh, run, test them both on load. Um, yeah, it'll be good that will. Uh, they're only rated up to about okay, powering off now. Yeah, there you go, powers off now. Yeah, that's a that's a UK plug. Quite a nice, safe plug. Uh, very, very good design. Um, you know, I'm not slating the American plugs or any other foreign countries' plugs, but I've got to admit, I think the UK plugs are very, very nice and safe. A big earth pin. You cannot, have, you know, have too much, uh, too little earth on something. Here's me saying that, and I've got no earth connected to this. But um, <laughs> as long as you're not touching it, as long as you're not touching it, yeah, that's, it's okay. It should, it should be good. The only problem with these is it's the only quote I could find at the time. But uh, so the only problem with these guys is they lie flat on the floor like that, and then your big foot comes along and goes and stands on them. They're not very nice. Then pins aren't when you when when you stand on them, as you can imagine. But uh, very, very good safe plugs uh, in terms of electrics. Rated up to 13 amps and they have a built-in fuse as well. So yeah, very, very good design. It's one thing we got right. <laughs> one thing we got right. And uh, and that's the uh, the socket there. Obviously it's upside down. There you go. Something like that. But uh, yeah. That was a scrapyard sign. It just needed a bit of rewind done to it. And a new cord put in. in. I picked that up for I think it was a pound, and uh, it's really all my all my stuff. That is really nice. Yeah, there you go. Anyway, just a quick little video, just showing this stuff. I've got that guy down there still, the old um, the old uh, motherboard. Thinking about doing something interesting with it, with it being broke, obviously. I don't know. Probably a date with welder, maybe. Mm. What do you think? Yeah. You know, if we just. Yeah, file a bit or somewhere and clip an earthing clip to something here and then just run a lot maybe a bit of run a welding stick across it see what pops along the way maybe It'd be quite also interesting generator transformer just being connected up to some of these microchips. yeah it could use a uh, a, a, a small little uh, high voltage transformer yeah it could be interesting that well we'll see what we could do with it because i say it's, it's a shame to let such a big big circuit board go to waste Oh, and if you've not yet seen um, my uh, YouTube, um, what's it, channel background, that's it. Something like that, anyway. 
that's my YouTube channel background. Just as took a little a little picture. This camera actually that I'm using now, my little Sony Ericsson X10 Mini Pro camera, and it come out pretty well. But I'm in the process of currently looking at alternative cameras. So in my future videos you should be seeing in a lot better high definition quality. It's just we don't know whether to go and get one from China. Not obviously go there, but go onto the Chinese wholesaling websites and get a decent camera. Or to get one from, uh, from I don't know, Currys or, well, we don't have Best Buy anymore. <laughs> they've, they've closed down here in the yeah. UK. Um, didn't last very long here. Uh, or Comet or something like that. Some other place that does uh, that sells appliances and cameras. But uh, in all fairness, the big brand name cameras don't look as as good a quality as the stuff China's pumping out at the moment, does it? Yeah, some of them look better, really, than China. Um, well, in terms of um, in terms of uh, what's it? Uh, video definition. Uh, the Chinese cameras are pumping out five megapixel um, chips. Whether the ones I've been looking at, um, the new. Oh, who is it by? A uh, Samsung camera. It's a really nice little small camera. Um, it's a 0 0.8 mo uh, megapixel chip. And I'm thinking, hang on a minute, surely you get better better quality from out of the 5 megapixel chip on video. Because I know that fo uh, still photo and video photos are two different things in terms of um, you know cameras. But we'll see. We're going to try and do a comparison online between one and the other. And um, and have a look to see what the difference is, but uh, we'll we'll have a look anyway, and uh, we'll go for whichever camera go, we we go for. And Aussie Fifty, if you if you're watching this, I hope you got I hope you got my message about the camera. <laughs> if you could just reply back for uh, back for me, that would be quite nice. Just tell me what camera you're running, because your videos are always a great quality, and uh, it'd just be nice to know what camera you're currently running. You've probably told us in one of your other videos, but uh, uh, what is it you've got now? Over a thousand videos. I don't. Th I don't think I could go through all the thousand videos again <laughs> to uh, to find the name of it. So uh, if you could just tell me, mate, that would be great. Thank you very much, dude. Anyway, YouTube viewers, thank you very much. This is John Dragon Man, and uh, I'll catch you in my next video. Oh, John Dragon Man and my brother. Uh, hopefully, he'll soon get a channel as well. We don't know. We'll see. Peace out guys from us a lot of here in the UK. Have a good one.